The charges against Paul that began with the temple mob in Acts 21-28 were given their final verdict by the Jewish king himself. Paul is innocent of all accounts and he could have been set free. However, based on Acts 26, verse 31 and 32, he appealed to Caesar in Rome. In Luke 23, we're told that the Lord Jesus Christ went through the same type of trial. Having stood before Pilate, which was a proculator, a governor, he was then sent to the king, Herod. Neither found any fault in him. Paul had stood before Festus and Felix, procurators, also governors, and then before King Agrippa, and they found no fault with him. When the dust settles on Acts 26, Paul wants all to know that his commitment to the risen Christ was the real reason for his bonds. The reason this meeting has taken place is the request from Festus for Paul to be examined by King Agrippa. He said, we can't send a man to Rome to stand before Caesar and not send a letter as to the reason he has been charged. You examine him. But there's no record that King Agrippa ever examined Paul. Now, I want you to listen carefully to this statement. Before the session ends, Paul became the judge and Festus, King Agrippa and his wife Bernice became the defendants. As a great commissioned Christian, by way of introduction, I want you to note Paul's primary goal. It was not to exonerate himself, but to convert Agrippa and all present with him. Verse 28 and 29. Listen to what he said. Then Agrippa said to Paul, you almost persuade me to be a Christian. Look at me for a moment. How would you like to go to hell when somebody almost persuaded you to get saved. You know, I believe one thing you'll have in hell is your conscience and your memory. How would you like for your memory to serve you well and to remember maybe the song that was being sung? Maybe you can still hear the resounding voice of the preacher who made the appeal, the neighbor, the Christian who invited you to come to Christ and and then later, a songwriter was inspired, almost persuaded, now to believe. And to know that you went out into a Christless eternity when the offer 